Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update, giveaway, and what's new. We are feeling so much better. Like, I don't know if you could hear that, but oh, there's still a little congestion, but <laughs> uh, not to like brag or anything, but I can almost breathe out of both, both of my nostrils. So um, feeling pretty good about that. My energy is so much more up than what it had been while we were ill. And it's like, man, it's so good to be back at it, you guys. But um, we wanted to start with the giveaway. So the way to participate in our giveaway will have been to have left a comment on last week's video. Um, and that puts your name in the hat for whenever we go to randomcommentpicker.com and put in the URL. It does its thing and picks a random winner and you get to pick one of our dragon eyes from the link down in the video description. Um, cause that's what we're giving away this week because our kiln is still broken. So we're kind of hoarding our glass cabs to try to make them last as long as they can. We'll talk more about the kiln shortly though. So this week's winner winner chicken dinner, cause the way that this works is if you want to put your name in the hat for a dragon eye is leave a comment on this week's video and then that'll put your name in for next week. So um, this week's winner, we're gonna is Deanna Marsala. Congratulations, Deanna. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, if you could send us an email with where you, which dragon eye you would like and where you would like it shipped to, send us that email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com and we'll get you taken care of. Now, if you live outside of the United States, you can still participate. We'll just give you a digital reward instead of uh, something that we have to ship because shipping's like cray cray expensive. Um, congratulations, Deanna. Good luck to everybody else this week. And I just want to let you guys know, I will never announce the winner in the comments. I will never ask for you to text me via like a text number or a WhatsApp or anything like that. We only announce the winners here in the video uh, the following week. So that being said, what are we going to talk about? Oh, I've lost my coffee. Give me a sec. Okay. So cheers, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, Our kiln is still broken. Both the elements and the relays. I don't know if they were broken to start with, but in my attempts to fix it, now they are both broken. So we have new elements and relays, <sighs> elements, element connectors, and a new relay um, for our Paragon 6, CS16S um, <sighs> kiln. We have them coming. And I even talked to a repair feller on the phone and y'all, like, I know I'm good at making things overly complicated, but this dude was like, he's like, it's simple. It's just simple. Like, you just do this. And then he explained it. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> is that all you do? And then I'm looking at mine and I'm like, uh, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get this figured out. But it has been a challenge like a mega challenge like I still don't know how to use like an ohm meter um like so just learning a bunch of new things all at once and like being very afraid of getting electrocuted even though it's unplugged because it's you know I don't understand it that well so I'm like more afraid of it probably than what I should be and I recognize all that but also I'm still like incredibly ignorant on the whole subject and the more I learn about it the more I'm like oh yeah I definitely don't know what I'm doing which is not encouraging, <laughs> but we still, we shall carry on anyways. But in the meantime, we also, since we had done so well at Anime St. Louis, this really put us into a position where I'm just going to say we have run this kiln almost once a day since May, 2020. <laughs> so like there might've been, it, it might've had like 30 days of not being run in the past three years. Uh, but we've really run it through its paces and we had gotten to the point where we were like, well, we're going to have to start capping our subscription boxes because we can only make so many cabs at a time. Um, so we have another kiln coming, uh, not to replace this one, but to expand a little bit, give us something that, cause it's like, man, if we hadn't gotten, we had been working really hard since January when we made like the big plan for the year, which I can actually pull that up. But when we made like the big plan for the year, it gave us a, you know, 
production model that we could follow to get our cabs produced for having actual projects for each of the kits like it gave us some structure which we have never had that this much structure before but that allowed us to get about a month ahead so now that the kiln's down uh we're having to having to eat into basically the savings of cabs like that we had back stockpiled um which is good it's I I shouldn't be getting down and feeling like I'm a failure because I'm using the safety net that I had built for us like through the planning and everything and I say I but Randy helps me with all this stuff but it was he did kind of step back and be like babe you plan it and just tell me what to do so I was like okay and then we, we were like we were there we were at the goalpost that I kept moving for myself since January to be like ah yeah we're one week ahead but let's see if we can get two weeks ahead and then well yeah okay, we're two weeks ahead but let's see if we can get a month ahead and we finally got a month ahead and then and then it broke so um but yeah this was our yearly plan that we had like sketched out and I had done even planning like our shop updates and planning the projects and the different wire and stuff and so it's been really really nice to have this plan but um having a second kiln would enable us to do more artsy stuff like I still haven't been able for those of y'all who follow along with what we do here on the channel remember the mushroom cap that I had made I still have not had an opportunity to slump that just because we've been in production mode so much um and so having a second kiln will be a good thing because I have been using my Paragon Bluebird kiln like my bead kiln but y'all it's max temperature is 1500 my clamshells um both of them like the one we have big blue and little blue who will be showing up um hopefully soon like in time like I don't know there's no telling how long production will take um but both of those their max firing is a thousand seven hundred degrees and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because we full fuse our uh tiles like our glass to make cabs um at a thousand four hundred and fifty <laughs> so my poor little let's take a look at this actually because i want to show you all this poor kiln our poor kiln you guys like you can see the paint scorched on her now and she's getting like massive corrosion like you can see the little like there it's not as bad on this side as what it is on this one oh there's beads in the way but yeah you can see whoop, no you can't that corrosion there like that's no bueno like I don't want to be pushing my kiln to its absolute maximum whenever for you know years we've been just bringing it up to like 900 or 950 depending on you know what kind of beads we're making but so that's the story with that one Ugh, that one's there and so we're gonna have to let me we're gonna have to clean out this room because we're putting in another electrical thing over there for the kiln and we're gonna be setting up the kiln there so I'm really gonna have to get something figured out with this storage room but I think that'll be okay we'll get it figured out as we go but that is what's new um <laughs> this week is that we've kind of just been <sighs> stumbling along but we'll make it work and let's go ahead and flip this camera around and see what we have that's new in the shop this week so what we've got going on here is quite a bit of gemstones and then with some of the fused glass that we had specifically made uh, and saved for shop updates so there are going to be multiple pictures oh that's pretty um, of all of these cabs up on our website backtoearthcreations.com there will be links down in the video description here's a nice little puffy green aventurine heart <clears throat> like I did a whole lot of busting into my own stash uh, to be able to populate this shop update that way um, hopefully it'll buy us a bit of a buffer for the kiln to get here for us to get it into production and for just so like I'm hoping we won't have any like exterior downtime it's all just interior downtime which I'm still like kind of champing at the bit uh getting glass like chunked and like prepped and everything for whenever we can be in kiln production again but until then y'all get to enjoy some specimens from my personal collection because mama's got bills to pay <laughs> spent all the anime St. Louis money trying to get the kilns fixed um that's all right though that's kind of how it goes sometimes <clears throat> Ooh, check out that lab 
And then here's another one of our puddle smash caps with a nice blue adventuring shimmer. And then, ooh, another little wonky labradorite. Now we are gonna have pictures of all of these up on the website, both on a one inch grid board as well as here in my hand. And any cabochons that we have that are good candidates for having a groove added, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, will have that option there on the website. And so if they don't have the groove option, it's because we've determined um, that it is not a good candidate. Ooh, a nice little tiger's eye heart. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just show you all real quick. Just a nice perusal over. I really do love these. Uh, fused glass that we did in this kind of reddish brown tone. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. I can't even. Oof. So there is that tray. <clears throat> and I'm just breezing through it kind of quick because we have a surprise here on the bottom for you guys. I mean, every single one of these is like a AAA grade flash, which, I'm, which is why I was hoarding them. Um, but it's okay. I can't wait to see what you guys make with these. Oh, I love the depth of that blue in there. And so, ooh, another pretty one. Dog fur is always free. <laughs> and then more of those glass calves that we've made here as well. But I get to the surprise, which we do still have. Um, faceted amethyst uh, beads on the website and we have restocked our amazonite beads um, both in the 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 millimeter sizes and we're going to be doing an upcoming tutorial on like using those amazonite beads in a like a bird nest style pendant and earrings. I'm going to be showing you guys kind of a study on wire thicknesses um, in relation to bead size is kind of be, going to be the focus of that uh, lesson but the project we'll be using to demonstrate it is the bird nest so <clears throat> uh, just letting you guys know that we have that stuff up over there so now I want to show you guys all the jewelry that we have up for sale on our website so here we have these are some beautiful, like, apple green, um, AB finished, faceted bicones, wire wrapped in non-tarnished wire, with a little herringbone drop hanging down, and then it's completed with some enameled iron chain, and you can hook it anywhere along that extender chain. This is how all of our necklaces are. But we can shorten or extend a lot of these to fit however you like. So let us know if you see one that you just love and you want to take it home. Um, you know, and you place your order, just leave what length request you would like your necklace to be. And uh, we will do that for you. Ooh, and then here for this one, it's a beautiful little, like, kind of fantastical death head moth. There we go, get it laying correctly, with some beautiful rose quartz along the neckline. And then we have it finished there in the same style of chain. And then this one, oh, I do love that Oxana Crafts tutorial that shows how to do this style. And I have this one that's a beautiful multi-tone Labradorite accented with some faceted opalite beads and again there's going to be more pictures and description and stuff of these guys up on the website now here this one's a perfect one for either dressing up or incorporating with your daily wear it's a beautiful wrapped marquee bead with a little kind of art nouveau component and wrapped bead links on either end and again completed with a kind of uh it's like the 22 gauge chain so it's a, a delicate but durable. And then this is a piece that Randy had made. With all of his chain mail. I absolutely love this style. And he did such a good job weaving it. 
I made the bead links and <laughs> helped assemble it and that was about it. The rest of it was Randy. <clears throat> this is another one of Randy's handiworks, one of his Celtic stars with some hematite and a hematite toned glass faceted teardrop. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I'm losing my voice again. I'm still not all better, but I'm going to keep going. Here we have a genuine black onyx little moon accented with, or, or rather accenting, some enameled iron copper toned chain. And y'all might recognize this one from one of our previous tutorials. And these are all the fused glass on this, like the three cabochons, are made in our home kiln. Back when it was working. <laughs> but, and then I sculpted polymer clay around it. And it's got black onyx and black glass along the neckline. And then here we have another one of these sculpted labradorite and polymer clay inline bead style pieces with a beautiful little leaf imprint on the back side. As always, the dog fur is always free. And then it is moss agate and labradorite and uh, kind of glass seed beads along the neckline. <clears throat> now this one's one of our favorite pieces, both between Randy and I. It is one of our dichroic glass pieces wrapped in, I think this was February's uh, tutorial style. Really love how the back on this one came out. It's hiding a little amethyst bead there in the center, and then it's all uh, faceted crystal and amethyst and glass seed beads along the neckline. So on necklaces like this, um, we can't make it any shorter than what it is without having to restring it. So, um, but we can extend it for you still. So, uh, and we'll have specifications about that for each particular necklace <clears throat> uh, in the uh, item description for each necklace on our website. And so here we have this is one of our homemade smashed puddle caps made uh, with polymer. This is actually the piece that was made in our uh, Mermaid Vibes tutorial. And then it's turquoise and glass. And this is some like um, titanium plated quartz along the neckline as well with the little turquoise beads, like the turquoise Hessian beads along the neckline. Love the, just love that one. And this one has a beautiful little counterweight in the back that just hangs. Now this one, I remember one of y'all in particular was very interested in this piece when we were making it in a previous live stream. Well, it is up for sale now, you guys. And this is some of our homemade fused glass wrapped in non-tarnished para wire. And strung with green aventurine, moss agate, <clears throat> and what else do we have here? I think it's African jade as well. It's been a minute. I've slept since then. But absolutely love this necklace. And then we've got one more row of pieces to go. So here we have one of our wire-wrapped owls. That's the back side of them. And anything that's bare copper will be coming with a polishing cloth. And so this has, you can see it kind of slides on the necklace. So if it's a little off center, you just slide it till it's <clears throat> lined back up. And this is a whole bunch of genuine turquoise along the neckline as well as some glass seed beads and the copper um, beads and seed beads as well. And that again featuring one of our handmade cabochons. Now this one I just think is beautiful. I was doing a little bit of like um, a silk cord macrame with like these giant beads but I love it. Um, and then with some chainmail on the ends and these are red agate. Like, just a really deep, beautiful agate. <clears throat> and then this piece is a bar necklace that features one of our handmade lampwork glass beads. Which is a very fun kind of fiddly necklace, but I did not make these two black glass beads here, but I did make all three beads 
there on that, and then Randy made the chainmail. And then this is a nice, fun, like, everyday wear, dress it up or dress it down type of necklace. Just with faceted crystals and a little key. And then here we have one of our resin moons, wrapped in the on-the-fly moon style. All tones of copper and bronze. And then the last but not least, we have this piece here that I am super duper in love with. And this is the very first moon that I had ever made on my torch. Um, so the same techniques, or very similar techniques as to what I used to make this bead, I used to make this moon. <clears throat> and then this part was a component from, it's a two girls, four girls jewelry. I don't know, they have a tutorial on doing like this style component and I really enjoyed following along with it and then I was experimenting with doing some different coiling and then attaching that to a moon and then these are like some little leaf charms and then it's a quartz crystal and green aventurine um, and some faceted glass beads along the neckline and I just I absolutely love that one so this is this week's shop update you guys if y'all have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. I love hearing from y'all. Um, and if you find yourself in a shopping mood, use coupon code HAPPYCRAFTER and that'll get you 10% off of your order. Or if you're signed up for our newsletter, keep an eye out for the 15% off coupon that's at the bottom of all of our newsletters. Uh, and if you're one of our Happy Crafter Club members on our website, backtoearthcreations.com, or if you're a YouTube channel member or a Patreon supporter, dollar and up, you get a 20% off coupon to just about everything in our shop. The only stuff the coupon doesn't count for is whenever we're doing like a craft along a thon or an auction so other than that that coupon is good for everything on our website so um yeah if you have any questions just let us know and i'm gonna go have a cough drop uh but i will see y'all next time and until then you guys happy crafting Mwah! bye <laughs>